Welcome back to Trails in the Sky the Third. We went through all of Grand Cell Castle last time, and now... Now it's time to go down here, this place that doesn't belong if this really is the modern Grand Cell. I didn't get to comment before, but I really like this music. Just the sinister, haunted take on the Grand Cell Castle music. It's just... It's so cool. One of the things I love about this game is is that even in the areas that reuse assets, almost the entire OST of this game is brand new songs. Unfortunately, this one isn't quite as amazing as the original song that played here, Hollow Light of the Sealed Land. Oh my. It's Trails in the Sky FC's final dungeon? We're not going to be able to get through here without a lot of preparation beforehand. Hmm, might I suggest we return to base for now? I think we should go a little further inside and see what state the ruin itself is in first. Kinda hard to know what to prepare for if we don't know what fiends we're going to be up against. True enough. Let's advance a little farther before returning to the garden then. That's actually a pretty good gameplay hint because uh, you should definitely go a little further into this place before going back to the garden. So, overall, this place is pretty similar to how it looked back in FC, but uh, there is a distinct lack of photon judges, and I very much appreciate this. Ah, uh, photon judges. This can't be right. I, I love the detail that Reese did not exclamation mark there, because everyone else here is familiar with this place, but uh, Reese is not. Impossible. Julia was actually here with Kevin during a scene in, in SC. Is something wrong? Something's wrong, alright. Has the entire layout of this area changed? It is, without a doubt. This area should be a corridor that leads to the first three-way junction. How is this even possible? I don't think you're mistaken. Heh, <laughs> now it all makes sense. You're probably on the right track, Kevin. You noticed too, huh? Well, if you're backing me up, I'm more than confident now. What is it? Have you discovered something? Maybe, but let's head down on the elevator first. I'm almost sure the answer's gonna be waiting for us somewhere ahead. Alright. Let's be sure we're ready for anything. And, well, we know that we don't have to immediately prepare for a boss fight because there's no monument, um, right here. Yeah, we're at the bottom level already. That's definitely off. This just isn't possible. How are we on the lowest floor of the ruin already? Could the space we're in be distorted? Nah, that alone wouldn't explain how the entire layout of the place has changed. Let's just keep up the pace. I've got a feeling there's gonna be something, or someone, waiting for us not far ahead. Alright. Let's just be sure we're ready. They keep saying that. <laughs> But actually you should be, because the boss that's coming up is definitely pretty tough. Also can't access the map here either, so uh, the chest tracker is, um, well, yeah, the, um, forgot what its name is already, uh, the, um, detection quartz uh, is useless here. There is a monument. And this is where you're supposed to return to the garden to prepare. Because the monument will also unlock uh, some new things in the um, shop, I think. Uh, it doesn't look like there's really all that much here. We can buy EP charges if we need them. And then in terms of quartz... Oh, we can get Petrify. That's actually pretty effective, even though it's only a 10% chance. Petrification is effectively instant death. It never wears off, and any attack on a petrified enemy will instantly kill it. So, I always like to grab those where I can. Oh, we can get Mind 2 as well. Definitely take that for every caster you have. But of course, if you have the Time Seepeth, Action 2 and Cast 2 are what you really want here as well as EP Cut 2 and EP 2. 
Uh, in fact, I have enough for one of each of those. I'll take one of each of those. Uh, these are, yeah, really, really great to have. Back to the Hermit's Garden to restore CP. The pie that I recommend for this is, well, it's just Joshua, because Kevin, Reese, and Julia are all forced. And on that note, something that I want to show here, if you take Julia out of the party, you might be wondering, now that we're actually, like, through the entrance to the castle, if we're allowed to go back in there without Julia, well, two things to show. Firstly, if we warp to Stardor 1, It still blocks you from going inside the castle without Julia. But you might have noticed as well that I can't warp to Stardor 3. It will not let you warp anywhere inside the castle without Julia in your party, so she is absolutely forced for this section of the game. And now it would be about when I would warp back, except I'm going to do something interesting here. I am actually going to load a save from my nightmare file. The reason for this is I want to show this boss fight on Nightmare. Because on my Nightmare playthrough, this was the real gatekeeper fight. This fight stonewalled me for so long, and I noticed that Julia is missing a tiny bit of EP, so I'm going to heal that. But once I got past it, things weren't really that bad. And this is also a game where I have to thank Delta Dragon, because if I didn't know about how to farm uh, slime lumps for Time Seepeth, I would not have been able to get past this fight at all, because, um... You'll see. So, for the party right here, I have a proxy puppet on Kevin, just in case he goes down and I really, really need Earth Wall. And the Glam Choker Plus uh, for that plus 5 speed and preventing mute. I would normally use the Crimson Eye, except I really, really want as much speed as possible for this fight. Basically, Kevin is here for Earth Wall. And your Earth Wall user on Nightmare has to be as fast as physically possible. Huh, Kevin's setup here is pretty much exactly the same as what I have on him in my, my hard mode file. Uh, Reese has the Lunar Seal and the Black Bangle to prevent sleep. And then in terms of Reese's augment, she has this setup. This might look a little bit weird, but this gives her access to Phantom Pain. Minus 15% strength. This can actually be kind of decent in this fight overall. Of course, she does not have Clock Up EX. Um, Kevin does as well as Clock Down. And now Julia has um, has all of those things, Akasha Kart, she has the Black Bangle Plus. Uh, and then in terms of Ultimate, Julia is set up so that she actually has access to Clock Up EX and Clock Down. So she can also buff and debuff speed. And finally, Joshua. Joshua has the Solar Seal. The reason for this is that this boss summons a lot of minions that are really annoying about getting rid of your Earth Walls. And Joshua's Black Fang will... Phantom Raid, I mean, will attack everything on the field. So basically, I want Joshua to be spamming Black Fang to... for some crowd control. And in terms of his augment, he has, um, again, I think this is actually the same setup that he has in my main playthrough file. Uh, but basically, it gives him Clock Up EX and Clock Down. Um, the actual offensive arts that you have at this point really don't matter all that much. Mostly that you just have Clock Up EX and Clock Down on as many people as possible. And that you have a very, very, very good Earth Wall user. And that especially... Everybody has Action 2 and Cast 2. This fight is basically a test. Do you have Action 2 and Cast 2 on everyone at this point? If you don't, you pretty much can't win, at least not on Nightmare. You'll probably be able to get by on the lower difficulties, but... On Nightmare, this boss's damage output is so ridiculously high that there is no way you can keep up with it via just healing. You will need Earth Wall to block the boss's attacks, because it does about 11,000 to 14,000 damage per attack. Yeah, it's that insane. And so, we're going in the Coward's Corner, and um, no real reason to set any S-Breaks other than what we have. Okay, with our prep done, let's go. Kevin. Yeah, it's that smell again. 
The same one you smelled before that coffin-like devil appeared? Where's it coming from? So, you noticed the smell, did you? The dogs of the church have good noses, if nothing else. Who's there? Not the Schwarzritter this time. That masked uh, person from the Lusitania. Who are you? I was wondering when you'd finally show your face. You're the Lord that knight spoke of, aren't you? I suppose I am. I do, after all, rule this land of Phantasma. Such a name is only fitting. You may call me the Lord of Phantasma if you so wish. The Lord of Phantasma? Indeed. That's not a name ever mentioned in your beloved testaments, is it, Reese Argent? So you know who I am too? Hmm, someone's brushed up on their homework. That's enough time spent on trivial greetings. Listen to me, Lord of Phantasma, or whatever your name is, if all we've seen here is your doing. Then return Grandcell to the way it used to be at once! Should you refuse to comply, I shall cut you down here myself. My, my, your request is so meaningless, I scarcely know how to respond. There's no harm in devotion, but done in excess, it can only serve to cloud your eyes to the truth. Well, do you understand now, Julia Schwartz? What? I see my suspicions were right after all. The grand cell we've been fighting our way through isn't even the real thing, is it? It's just an imitation of it. A replica of the city created here in Phantasma. That can't be. Could that really be true? If we assume it is, everything falls into place. Everything we thought was strange suddenly makes complete sense. How that giant black gate appeared at the city's entrance, how it ended up completely devoid of people, even how the room with the elevator went back to the way it used to be and the sealed area structure completely changed. Am I on the right track, Joshua? Precisely. Oh dear, you're a little too capable for your own good. If only you could be more darling and naive, it would make things much more fun for me. Do I look like I care about whether you're having fun or not? All I care about is Estelle's safety. Ah, but of course. Still, much like Julia Schwartz's devotion to those she serves, love, too, can serve to keep the truth forever out of reach. Is that not so, Joshua Bright? So all this time, Her Majesty and Princess Claudia were safe. Oh, Adios, thank you for your unwavering mercy. Oh, your relief strikes me as coming more th than a little prematurely. Whoever said that those you care about are safe, it wasn't me. Pardon? No! Does that contain... Think of this as the final reward placed for you to earn on this second plane. Of course, rewards aren't given for free. If you wish to earn it, you will have to overcome a trial first. A devil? This is another of the 77 devils mentioned in the Testaments, one of the two gatekeepers of Gehenna and leader of a vast army of minions, Rostrum the Savage. Gah, are you insane? How do you think you can handle something that powerful after bringing it to life? I need not worry, for I have you to defeat it for me. Enjoy! Oh boy, here it is. Yep, they can reach us already. In fact, uh... I wonder if Joshua should be S-breaking right now. We'll see. Okay, so we have Rostrum Bugs. And uh, these things, they don't have a lot of health, so you can kill them off pretty quickly. They mainly exist just to be harassers. Because this is the main, uh... uh threat here, almost 40,000 HP on Nightmare, and over 4,000 strength. That immense strength is not kidding. 
There are bosses in Chapter 5 that don't have this much strength, uh, for comparison. So this is really just a test of making sure that you have Earth Wall and can cast it quickly enough. In fact, at this point, I don't think I'm even gonna buff strength with Julia right now. It is absolutely vital that you get Clock Up EX on everybody as fast as possible. Uh, sometimes I kinda just like to have everyone buff themselves. Uh, Joshua, oh boy, I actually need to Grail Sphere now because Rostrum is going. If I don't Grail Sphere now, we are all gonna take an enormous amount of damage. So, um, yeah, I am so sorry, Grail Sphering. There are multiple things Rostrum can do, and all of them are terrible. Uh... Hmm. Actually, if I had buffed everyone's strength with Julia, then Joshua's S-Craft would have hit harder. I probably should have thought about that before I'd done that, but oh well. Uh... I want to stay bunched up as much as possible. And now Joshua S-Bricks. Now, is this going to kill everything? Yes, that is going to kill all the bugs. Good. Don't even need a strength buff for that. In fact, I think even a 100 CP S-Craft will be able to do that uh, pr job pretty easily. Oh yeah, gotta remember, I did set Mueller as my support, did I? In fact, I might have actually forgotten to do that. <laughs> if that's the case, then I'm giving myself an additional challenge then. Uh, okay, you don't even have that, so I suppose Reese can... Actually, it's much more vital that I keep Kevin topped up on CP at all times. This is Nightmare, I have to remember that. Okay, first buff is up. So, uh, this can be cancelled. But sometimes you don't want to because it lowers its defense by doing that, and that'll make it easier to damage. And that strength buff on it is really not that much of a big deal, because Rostrum pretty much one-shots you anyway, so it's not like it's going to make its attacks any worse. Okay, so you're going to clock up EX now. Uh, I suppose you can go for Reese. I don't know if Phantom, like how Phantom Pain is exactly going to stack with that. Reese, I guess, can just Holy bl In fact, maybe she'll Holy Blessing Joshua. It's at times like this that you can maybe... Oh, I, I was, thought I was rotating the camera there, I used the um, analog stick instead, and I ended up accidentally S-breaking, but I guess we'll take that then. Because I kind of want to put Joshua closer to a potential... Um... Oh, why haven't I clocked down to this thing yet? That's absolutely necessary. <laughs> yeah, put, putting Joshua closer to an S-break. Basically, everything this thing does has an area effect on it. And Joshua can go for Clock Up EX on, uh... Yeah, Joshua is not uh, Clock Up EX yet, so he's gonna do that to himself. Clock down Rostrum, perfect. Clock Up EX on Joshua, I have Joshua's S-Break ready. Um, Joshua is no longer Earth Wall, though. And that's bad, because uh, you don't have Earthwall, which means that Joshua will likely die if he takes a hit here. Do I have... Uh, what do I have? I don't have any CP restoring food, which is not good. Oh yeah, uh, from farming all of the uh, slime lumps in this run, I actually have Bloody Meatballs. Bloody Meatballs, I'm going to be going through a lot of these in this fight, because they're kind of ridiculous. Or you could save those for later. Bloody Meatballs is actually an endgame tier attack food item, so if you get it this early, it's kind of broken. Uh, I do have these that have the Zerum... Uh, hmm. Okay, um... Just thinking about what to do here... Oh, wow, I should have, I should have put Clock Up on Kevin first. Holy frig, okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was incredibly lucky. In fact, I think if that damage roll had been a little higher, Joshua wouldn't have survived that. But, uh, yeah, that's basically how much damage this thing does. And, yeah, I really think that I should get my Earth Wall guy Clock Up EX as soon as possible. Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess we don't even need Earth Wall right now, just a regular Earth Guard. That's the other thing about this thing's attacks, it just knocks you all around the arena. Okay, and at this point, 
probably want to start getting some damage in on it of the oh yeah right I can see the remote ability in the corner and I have Josette's remote ability still on so <laughs> yeah uh, consider this a self-imposed challenge uh, of doing this without Mueller have Ford. I don't think anyone has Ford. If I were to use um, attack orders right now, it would overwrite uh, my clock up EXs, I think, so can't actually do that. Yeah, Shadow Spear has less delay after it, so I might as well cast Shadow Spear here. In fact, yeah, because of that, I don't know why I did Soul Blur. I just, it's kind of muscle memory to do Soul Blur. I only learned relatively recently that Soul Blur has more delay on it than other arts do. Okay, got a bit of damage in there. The defense debuff helps. And also, yeah, Call Allies has incredibly low cooldown on it, so... I am going to do what I like to call a preemptive Earth Wall. Because since my Earth Wall is going after Rostrum, it means that uh, I get it up on everybody after they lose their Earth Guards due to being hit by Rostrum. Uh, yeah, you're going to just Shadow Spear, I think. The other problem with this guy is that he's so big, he often just blocks a whole lot of the battlefield and <laughs> makes it hard to see things. Sometimes it can be good then to make sure uh, of who you're aiming at with your buffs by looking at which character is highlighted in the turn order. That's who you're targeting. Okay, getting some good damage in there. I mean, technically speaking, I could heal Joshua here. Not that I really hugely need that. Yeah, the Celestial Bombs cure KO. Do I have any better... No, I don't even have any healing arts at all. So I'd probably rather wait for something else then. And that's why uh, those guys really suck. Because they remove your guards just in time for Rostrum to get a turn on you. Uh, of... Okay, Julia was going to lost the guard there, but that means that she's going to get one shot at by Rostrum, so... Right, that's a problem. I think if she heals herself, though, is that going to put her up to full health? Oh, she has less health than Joshua. Yeah, she's definitely getting one shot at by Rostrum. That's a shame. Because Kevin's turn isn't coming up, and Kevin doesn't have Grail Sphere right now. Should I Phantom Raid again? I don't like that Rostrum bug existing. I think I may actually have to Phantom Raid again. Although if I if I hit you once, I should get enough CP for my uh, S break. Yep, there we go, 200. I mean, of course I have enough for an S break, but I mean like for a 200 CP S break. Oh yeah, also about Joshua, Joshua sometimes has a strange glitch where if you skip his S-Craft animation, sometimes it won't do damage. Uh, that might just be a consequence of the fact that this game um, was not designed with skipping S-Crafts in mind. Oh crap, Jul uh, Julia's totally dead right now, isn't she? No, she barely survived. Okay, good. And Kevin's Earth Wall is going. It is still speed debuffed, and we are still speed buffed. That is really the name of the game here. Make sure that you are always speed buffed at all times, and it is always speed debuffed. Yeah, and right now these repeated Shadow Spears are going to be piling on the damage a lot better than our physical attacks will. Okay, a turn for Julia. Does that mean? The one downside of being uh, Earth Walled all the time is that since taking damage is a big factor in recharging your CP, it means that um, we don't actually gain CP back all that often because we don't get hit when we aren't shielded. But I think that's a small price to pay when it comes to not being hit by this thing's attacks, which you've seen. This guy hasn't even done the worst thing he can do, which is a, which is a, a delay AoE attack. Like, if you get hit by that one and you're not Earth Guarded, you're basically dead. Yeah, more Shadow Spears. Probably much more effective than, um, than Dark Matter, which costs way too much. I think Dark Matter is slightly stronger, but, but still. Okay, it's like that. Like, we are actually starting to run a little low on EP as well on Kevin and Reese, but we should be getting pretty close to it being down. 
And in fact, once we get its health down into the low ranges, I might even be able to uh, strength buff everybody with Julia and then go uh, go ham on a chain craft. In fact, we might even be getting close to the point where that's a viable option. Because it is almost down to like 10,000-ish. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, I'll just say it. Because, yeah, it's below 10,000 now. Okay, cool, allies. That was not a bad thing for you to be doing, honestly. Okay, no, but Julia hasn't got him with the strength buff yet. Just trying to think whether I can actually do this with a Chaincraft plus S-Break right now. It's possible. And it is still defense debuffed. Yeah, with these two uh, Shadow Spears, I should definitely be able to finish it. Okay, a Rostrum Bug is going, but I think it's too far away to actually hurt any of us. Yeah, it's all the way over there. So I can do this. Now, since delay only applies when you actually take an action, I think um this, like, having a worse speed buff right now is not going to actually... Um... I forgot they could do that, but that recovery is incredibly negligible. Yeah, in fact, we should be able to finish this right now with a, well, your chain is, uh, bad. Uh... Just gonna kind of pass with you. Okay, chain three, let's go. Julia, Reese, Kevin... And then I will S-break with Julia afterwards, in case this doesn't finish it. Oh yeah, that's not doing a lot of damage at all, I'm so glad for that S-break. Okay, come on, it would be so fitting if Julia finished this. Although Joshua could pick up the slack if she fails. I'm going to print and blast break with Joshua, just in case this doesn't work. Well, that's the thumbnail right there. It'd be so fitting if Julia actually finished this. Uh, did she? Yes! I feel like that was just barely, but she did. I think that does go to show that uh, chain crafts aren't that effective against Rostrum. You kind of want to be piling on uh, Shadow Spears. I'm going to let the full experience uh, tick down just because <laughs> that's a pretty satisfying fight to do. I mean, I kind of made it look easy there. I didn't even need Mueller's uh, remote ability, but that is because I overprepared for this. And before I did, I got completely demolished repeatedly. We never heard that part of the song before, so I just wanted to show that. I think hit three is one of the weaker drops you can get out of that boss, so that's annoying. God, th that thing was crazy, you're telling me. I can't believe we were able to defeat it, me neither. But, but now... That was a truly delightful spectacle. Well, take your reward. You've earned it. Oh. Thank goodness. I'm glad we got it for you, Julia. Heh. <laughs> Surprise, you made good on your promises. Now, you ready to cut down to the chase? What do you want from us? What the hell is the point of all this? Poor Kevin Graham. Poor, pitiful Kevin. Please try not to let me down any more than you already have. I am a phantom, a shadow. Much as a shadow only exists where there is something to cast it, I, too, only exist because of something within your number. Do you grasp my meaning? Wah! Kevin? Humph. <laughs> How could I? You're just spouting nonsense. If you think being all cryptic is going to confuse us and lead us astray, you're very much mistaken, buddy. True enough, sprouting cryptic nonsense is simply what I do. That is what you believe, is it? Then it must be true. Ugh, you. 
Perhaps I ought to go by a different name after all. How do you think Lord of Nonsense sounds? More fitting, perhaps. I said screw you! Welp, villain dead, game over. Kevin? What's wrong with you? Nothing, don't worry. That's literally just a shadow. It is? Oh. So it was a body double, or an empty shell is more appropriate in this case. They must have switched while we were fighting that devil. I commend you for noticing. Still, your role on this plane is now over. Add the wings of white to your number and journey on deeper into the abyss you stand inside. I shall be awaiting our next encounter. The next warp is where the seal on the Oriole was. Please, they take their overblown theatrics way too seriously. Our resident evildoers gonna have to work on their act if they want to sound like anything more than a walking cliche. Um... Anyway, we're done here, and we've got ourselves another ceiling stone to open up, so let's mosey on back to the base. I think we all know who's inside at this point. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. And that is the end of Chapter 2, The Otherworldly Capital. Join us next time as we continue to progress into the world of Phantasma, now that we know that, um... I think a lot of people uh, watching would have already guessed right now that this wasn't really Grand Cell, it was just a giant replica of it, but... The fact that this place can replicate entire cities, and the capital city of a major... of a major country... That doesn't bode well. So, see you all next time, where hopefully we find some more answers and add one more to our number.